hello and welcome to yet another video this video is a follow-up of yesterday's video where i dealt extensively with the youtube and the concepts that you need to take into account when you're carrying out calculations using the youtube in today's video i want to show you how we can use the youtube to measure pressure of a gas so if you have not yet watched yesterday's video it is important that you watch it because it's going to help you to understand what we are going to do here today so with me over here i've got a round bottom the flask and it's connected using a rubber tubing to the youtube and the youtube has mercury in it and when you look at the two levels you find that the two levels of mercury in the two arms of the youtube they are the same the two surfaces are on the same level and we'll remember the significance of this I dwelt with these extensively yesterday that when you see that the two levels of the liquid are on the same horizontal level then it tells you that the pressure exerted on the surface on each one of those surfaces is the same provided the liquid is uh, continuous so long as the liquid is connected such as in the YouTube over here so the pressure on this surface here is atmospheric pressure because the pressure on the right hand side of the YouTube here is also atmospheric why is that this tube on the right hand side is open to the atmosphere this is so because the tube on the right hand side is open to the atmosphere so the pressure acting on this surface is atmospheric pressure so we know that because of that fact if that is the case and the fact that this level or this surface is at the same level with this other surface then by virtue of the fact that they are on the same level then pressure at this point is equal to pressure at this point so if i know that the pressure at this point is atmospheric then the pressure at this other level is also atmospheric so it starts by knowing pressure on one of the surfaces now when you look at the 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 arm on the left hand side you find that it is connected via this uh, this rubber tubing to this gas in this round the bottom of the flask and remember we can be able to heat up this gas inside here we've got a thermometer here and we would be able to see actually what happens so because this the, the tubing on the left hand side is connected to this rubber tubing which is connected to the gas inside this round bottom of the flask we can say that the pressure on the surface of this mercury level is due to the gas so we can tell that the gas inside here is the one which is exerting pressure on this surface of the mercury but since this surface of the mercury we have determined that its pressure is atmospheric is equal to atmospheric pressure then we conclude that the pressure of the gas is equal to atmospheric pressure that is how we know that that is the case now suppose we were to heat up this gas in such a way that you know when we heat up the gas you can see the temperature rises when you heat up this gas its pressure is going to increase so the pressure on this level of the mercury surface remember the mercury surface was here so its pressure has increased and that is why that surface has been pushed down its pressure is greater than atmospheric so this level pushes this other one up this one rises while this one falls so it's important we get the difference between the two mercury you know surfaces and you can see i have a meter rule inside there between the two so that i can measure this mercury column from zero all the way to eight centimeters and we can be able to calculate the pressure of the gas so let us see how we do that so this height here is eight centimeters so let me just uh, write that information here the height is eight centimeters eight centimeters is like eight we divide by 100 
in order to convert that into meters that gives me 0 0.08 meters now we are going to draw a line here a horizontal line and it's already here and we identify this point this point over here we can call it point a and this other point here so that point a and b are on the same horizontal level we say that if that is the case then we conclude that pressure at point a is equal to pressure at point b pressure at point a is pressure due to the gas so we're going to write p with the subscript gas this is read as pressure of the gas or pressure due to the gas on the other side this side when we look at point b we look at the fluids which are above that point b and one of them is atmospheric pressure here so here we've got p a t m and let's say the atmospheric pressure is a hundred thousand newtons per meters squared so we are going to say that one of them is pressure due to the atmosphere p a t m whose value we know the other one is pressure due to the mercury column and that one will be rho h g so let's see what that one gives us so we can say let me create some more space here and say pressure due to the gas because that is what you are working out is equal to 100,000 plus the density of mercury rho is 13,600 the height is 0 0.08 0 0.08 and the value of g which is the gravitational field strength is 10 let's see what that gives us so this one remains as 100,000 and this one becomes so I have 13,600 I multiply by 0 0.08 and then I multiply that one by 10 I'm going to get 10,880 so this one becomes 10,880 and therefore the pressure is going to be equal to 110 880 newtons per meters squared and that is the pressure of the gas and you can see that the pressure of the gas is higher than that of the atmosphere as we would expect so we can answer this question like this if we had been asked to calculate the total pressure of the gas or simply pressure due to the gas or pressure of the gas then we would say it is 110,880 newtons per meters squared if we had been asked to calculate pressure of the gas in excess of the atmosphere we would say that pressure of the gas in excess of the atmosphere is 10,880 what that means is that by how much is the pressure of the gas above that of the atmosphere that is what we are talking about here now let's look at a situation where we cool down this gas we cool down this gas and that leads to the pressure of the gas decreasing how will it look like so let's see how that one appears so this is the situation we have cooled down the gas like you can see now the pressure the temperature of the gas is way below that of the room temperature which is about 20 degrees celsius and you can see that the heights are going to change now this height is higher than that one here so that shows that the pressure of the gas is below that of the atmosphere again let's identify those two points that are very important in our calculation of course the first one is this one I'm going to call it point C and uh, this other one I'm going to call it point D just for convenience 
And remember, to always draw that horizontal line. It's very, very important. So you're going to say, because the two points, point C and point D, are on the same horizontal level, then pressure at point C is equal to pressure at point D. That is our starting point. Pressure at point C is what are the fluids above it? One of them is this one here, which is pressure, which is pressure due to the gas. It is this one here. So I'm going to say P gas. The other one is pressure due to the mercury column, which is uh, rho Hg. Rho is 13,600. This time I'm go just going to substitute directly. Rho H is from 2 centimeters all the way to 6 centimeters. That is 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters is 0 0.04. You can confirm that using a calculator. So I have my rho Hg. And then at point D, the pressure is due to the atmosphere, and that is 100,000. So let's see what this gives us here. So this is P gas. And just like before, we have 13,600 multiplied by 0 0.04. Then we multiply by 10. I'm taking the gravitational field the strength of the earth to be 10 newton per kilogram. And that gives me 5,440. So I have 5,440 is equal to 100,000. I can subtract this value from both sides, and I'm going to get the pressure of the gas being 100,000. I just need to subtract the answer there, and I get 96,560. Yes, 560 newtons per meters squared. Now, the, you can see that the pressure of the gas is lower than that of the atmosphere. So this is the actual pressure of the gas or the, the, the total pressure of the gas. Or you can say the gas is below atmospheric pressure by this value here. It is below atmospheric pressure by 5,440 newtons per meter squared. Or you can say the total pressure of the gas is 96,560 newtons per meter squared. And these questions, when it comes to calculating pressures of the gas, they are just as simple as that. All you need to do is just identify the two points where you can draw a horizontal line. That one is very important so that you can always say pressure at this point is equal to pressure at this point and then ask next ask yourself what are the fluids above this point? If there is a certain column of liquid then use rho Hg. And in this case the, the topmost part is of course the gas. So you say P gas. If, if the tube is open to the atmosphere, then know that the atmospheric pressure or the pressure acting on that surface, which is D, surface D is equal to atmospheric pressure. And that is what I wanted to uh, bring to your attention after teaching you how to use the YouTube in yesterday's video. So if you, you've not watched yesterday's video. There are so many points that I illustrated there. There are so many situations that I considered. Just make sure that you go back to that video over there and see what I did or what we discussed. Until next time, it is bye-bye.